Okay, so now let's take another look at these. Um, I think this should work. It looks. I thought these other packages for the with text live are part of text live, and I don't think they are. I think they work with it. So I think we can redo that one. This one needs this blues. Look at that again. Okay, it's got D bus Julep Lip Icow. Sources. Oh yes, we have installed it. That's right. I just want to think. Keep on thinking. I haven't installed, and it is. Install blues can be as well, and looks of it. So that fulfills Python. Um, all right, this one's for Valgrind, looks of it. And then we're back to yeah, I think we can tidy these up. Be a good idea. Let me just get my spreadsheet. And just see what we had left again. All right, D bus needs to be reinstalled after a few other. Options uh, Dbus Python. So it's after docs from Dbus Python and PYG object. Let's have a look at these two. Uh, it's my internet decided to go down now. No, it looks like it's the Linux from Scratch website. Let's try this again. Uh, looks like the um, Linux from Scratch website is down at the moment. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I've got an offline copy. Well, while we're waiting that, let's do live by Cal. Let's just check it's not on there. No. So let's save it. And extract it. Uh, let me just double check this part of the DB because just because I've got the 
binary, doesn't mean to say I've got the. Sorry, the uh, archive doesn't mean to say I've got it installed. DB underscore. Yep, no, the binaries are there, so. Get my account. Right, so got to remove a file so the system regenerates it. Install font config, following commands. Switch avoids building the documentation release table, includes pre generated information. But we've got .book, libxml, and text live, which are used for documentation, so I'm going to leave that one off assuming it will regenerate it for us um, what's going on here that's strange oh I'm looking at font config because I've got to those other right, let's start again then. Right, so let's make the build directory and then check the configure options. So, use the switch to apply high level of compiler optimization. So, we've got release, shared only to build only shared libraries, iCal build docs false, prevents building GTK documentation because GTK doc 1.3 is broken. It also prevents building the API, so we've got to leave that in the looks of it. Job, job object introspection true. The API is true and use built in teaser data. This which is used in order to build using your own times zone data. Okay, then put that in. So, switch is used in order to build your own time zone. Um, I'm not sure whether that's needed or not, so I'm going to leave that off. And just copy what's there. <coughs> okay, let's test it. Done. So let's install it. Okay. So let's mark that off. General libraries. Lib. Ical. It's done, so I think font config would be a good one to do again now. Yep, let's do that one. And I believe this is probably just to generate the documentation. So now following the correct instructions, let's remove this file and if your doc book your tools installed and you remove the disable docs parameter from the configure command below, you must have SGML, SPM and text live installed or font config build will fail. Common 
So it looks like we might need to. I oh know we've got it. SG ML. Yeah, we've got it. So I assume that's been installed. Again, I'm going to check the binaries. That was a Perl module. So we can uh, check this binary that's mentioned at the bottom in user bin sgml spl and there it is there and that's the link for looks of it to the Perl file okay so that's definitely there so this shouldn't fail then so we can copy without the disabled docs line to build them and that's to configure and then build it. So it looks like it's building the documentation now. It's done, let's test it. And that's a pass, so now we can install. that is done so if you did not remove the disabled docs programs from the configure command you can install the pre-generated documentation so we don't need to do that this time and this configuration which we've used already so that's font config rebuilt so let's tidy up under chapter 10 from config and I'll mark it off my rebuild list Yeah, I'll detect live and dot book util, so that's checked off. And I'm just going to see if there's anything else related to font config in here. There isn't, so that's finished. Uh, Is that tab down? Right, let's see if we can load these two pages up again. No, it looks unfortunately we might have to um, halt the video for a while. Um, let's see if we can build any of the others. Let's try some another browser. I don't think it'll be anything other than the Linux from Scratch website because um downloaded that libical earlier on so that proves the internet is working fine. Uh, let's try it. No, it's not working on another browser on another machine, so unfortunately it looks like it is broken. Um, let's see what else we can do at the moment. So we've got Python 2, that's the one that needs that blues. So we can rebuild libxml. So let's do that.
Some packages use flyers, do mix or two, so just no dot utils need to pass the module and store too much properly. Yeah, so I think we did install the modules with Python 3, so I don't think that's an issue for us. Oh no, you want to let Python somebody. No, it looks like I only installed it from Python 2. Oh, well, that's a problem if I can't get instructions for that. Um, uh, let's see if I can... I suppose this is not going to work, is it? No. Um, let's try and find Linux from scratch. Nine dot one book. Let's see if it's mirrored anywhere. Um, Actually, I wonder if that Oregon University Project so if it's packages. Oh, this is only the packages, not the books, for the looks of it. It's a bit unfortunate. Um, Shame. So I'm just documenting there, 6.11. Let's see if we've got the up-to-date versions here. Oh, right, okay. I'm not going to to do this. Uh, can we search... Alright, Linux from scratch. I've only got one version. I'm unfortunate. Okay. Um, let's try to be on no chunks. Uh, 
There's another mirror here. Let's see if I've got a later version. Right, looks like I have. We've saved. Okay, that's good. Right, so we've got the whole book on one page here, so it's not quite as useful, but it should work. So let's go to the Python drive. Python modules. And we wanted uh, libxml2 libxml2 for Python, oh it is only for Python 2 Oh, I see Python 3 bindings are built as part of libxml2 2910 and that's where we've come from isn't it XML2. Yeah, it is. Sounds good. Right. Okay. So we can start installing this then with this set command and configure. So disable static with history with Python 3. And that was building, this is what we want with Python 3 instead of Python 2. So with ICU. Not sure if this has been installed with ICU or not, but we've got it, so we can edit and we'll add the with threads option as well for multi threaded support. So let's configure that. See if there's any summary at the end, there isn't, unfortunately. So let's just build it. <coughs> And there's a test suite here, let's extract that. And to test results, issue make and redirect these results to check.log. Okay. Right, so that's done. Let's do a grep. Let's get a summary of the results. So, what's it say? There were 15 errors, but 15 errors are expected, so that's a pass in that case. Um, now, because we've got Valgrind, we can run another, some more checks. Replace check with check Valgrind. So let's do the same and redirect it to check. Valgrind.log. Oh, okay, it's not there. course is make a check.
that's done, let's check the results. And that looks like same sort of output. So that's fine. Let's now install it. That's done. So let's tidy it up. And mark it off as complete. Hit back some out too. So we can get rid of that now. Now the there's some scratch ropes. I just tried another terminal and it's up and running. So what I'm going to do is to download a copy in case this happens again. I've noticed that this happens a lot. Um, it's funny when I was doing a video on CLFS, the um, website for that disappeared a few times so I ended up just working from a local copy oh no it's gone again oh, that's a shame um, right if it comes up again I'll I'll interrupt the building and just download it irrespective no strange is coming up on uh, my other terminal but not this one Oh, it looks like it's the BLFS part now that's not working. Yeah, it's <laughs> how strange. The LFS part of the website is working, but the BLFS part isn't. <laughs> so, right, okay, we'll just carry on as we are. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it and download an offline copy as soon as I can. Right, so with that in mind, let's go back to. D bus wasn't it and we're trying to load right looks like the website's come up on my other machine it's taking some time here Right, let's grab a compressor from multiple pages, that's the one we want. Yeah, the site's having problems, maybe there's too many people trying to access it or it's just a bit unreliable at the moment. Okay, well let's stick with this mirrored copy. So what I want to find is Dbus. Right, yeah, this page is slow because it's a massive single HTML document, so I've got to remember that one clicking too much. So let's find Dbus. Let's try it again. Dbus. That's the one there. Let's open it in a separate tab. You see it's got, every time I open a new tab, it's got to load the whole web page again, render it, 
and then jump to the location so that's why it's taking a little bit of time okay um, don't know why this is over there but never mind um, so it's these two here we need to take a look at object is a Python module. Object in retrospection we've got PY Cairo. Yeah we've got that one. It looks like we've installed both versions of that. Let's check that one. I'll check what I've written down on my list. PY Cairo. Yes, we definitely installed both of them. Right, so get rid of that one. So PY Gobject we can install. Oh, looks like I've already done this actually. PY object 2 and 3 I've noted down. Yeah, and it's downloaded. Okay, so we don't need that one. Dbus Python. Looks like we've done this one as well. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, we've done that for 2 and 3. Right, okay, so maybe it was just to rebuild Dbus then. Um, let's go to this one, because I'm aware this will be using up a lot of memory. Uh, Dbus. So we've got the Xorg, we've got Elogin D. Let me check Xorg. So I wonder if this Dbus was just for Doc, uh, Doxygen or Valgrind, because they're the only other two that I know we've been hanging on for. Um, let's see what I've got for Dbus. So I've got to install Glib after Dbus has been reinstalled. Yeah, so it must have been just with oxygen. Right, let's let's do it then. See what we need to do with this configure command, if anything. There's quite a few there, so what I'm going to do is just put it in as a remark to get the command in and then go through and edit it. Seems to be a problem when I paste stuff into the terminal here. It seems to not be able to cope with too much, so I'm going to copy a bit at a time. Right, maybe there's a character in this then.
Right, let's do a bit at a time then. We need all these at least. Let's do a few lines at a time. At the beginning, as that's where it's failing. So it could be that this has been regenerated from the original and it's causing problems. So it's a lot got disabled oxygen docks. So we don't need that anymore. Where is that? Where's that one there? We need to enable user session, that's for sure. Disable XML docks. So XML TO, we've got that installed. Disable static, that prevents the static libraries being built. So we'll need that one. Now we use session. With system to user, we switch to disable. Right, so we'll need those. Doctor. No, it's not there. With consoles to the system PID with system socket. So I need all of these. Enable tests, build extra parts of the code to support all the tests, but do not use on a production build, so leave that. Enable embedded tests, again, do not use on a production build. Enable certs, enable debugging code for sessions. And note, it should be not used, not be used on production build, so that's our configure command done then. Right, so let's oh let's have a look at the summary. Always handy to look at that. So I've got docs and docs and XML docs. That's the two bits we've left out to turn on. So that's fine. So let's build a package now. Right, that's done, and see below for test instructions, so we've got to install it next. Right, shared library needs to be moved to lib, now I just want to check something, we're not going to crash the, we might crash the uh, XOR gear because I think it uses DBus while it's running. So, if funny things happen, we'll know why. So, move a library. You can test the method, method. No, we're not. If you're still building a system in Truth or did not start dimming yet, no. If you're using eLogindy, create a symlink. Now this should already exist, so it'll probably complain. Yep. Dbus test cannot be run until after G Dbus glib is installed. They must run as unprivileged user. To run the standard test, this should make check. Now because we've already got it running, what I'm going to do is quit the um, session we've got running at the moment, the graphical section session. And I'm going to restart the bus. Um, so I'll stop it first and start it. Give it a rest in between each one. So I'm hoping that's enough. 
if it isn't, I'll reboot the machine. So back to sources. Back to BLFS. Into the DBus directory. And we can run, make a check now. So that's the testing done. It says if you want to run the unit regression test, configure requires additional parameters with exposed additional functionality in the binaries are not intended to be used in a production build of DBus. If you'd like to run the test, it is in the following commands. To test you don't need to build a doc. So let's run this. Just to double check it. This is the, oh yeah, this is the one that should have failed according to the instructions. Test bus is known to fail. It looks like it's just passed. Okay, that's um, finished testing and it's all passed, which is much better than what expected. Um, while that was happening, the looks like the links from Scratch website's back up. So I've downloaded the book, which is the compressed HTML. I've extracted it in a directory. So in theory, I could go to that directory. Uh, there we go, BLFS book, and just click on index.html, and there we've got our own offline copy of it in case we need that. So um, let's go back to DBus. So the tests have failed, uh, the tests have passed, sorry. Um, we shouldn't need to modify this at all, it should already exist. 
In fact, no, we don't, because that's appending that to the. Like this information's that fast. So we don't need to do that. Um, we've done all the other configuration. For example, starting the X session with a debus session. So that is complete. I'm going to mark it off my list. 